prophet Thomas Manton also commented that he's saying that this wisdom was very rich. And um, Thomas, Thomas, you and I have never talked about this, but he worked with other ministries. I'm very aware, very aware. Thomas' daddy was a great politician in New York. But I will say this to Thomas. Thomas, that's, I've never told you this, son, what I know. But the reason you left another ministry, the real reason, is you saw false love. You saw false love. It also affected you to the politicians' world of New York. I call it political love. And you saw people, Thomas. I shouldn't be saying this publicly, but, I, but he'll understand. Because we don't get to spend hardly any time together ever. But Thomas, you have a heart that's pure. You have a heart that you love no matter what somebody can do for you. You love no matter what somebody can give to you. And son, I know that. And I saw it years ago. I saw it 25, 30 years ago in you. And I want to say that you're on the right path. And there is a there is a there's a purity in real love. It's very different than political love. Very, very different. Very, very different. It looks the same on the outside, but it's not, and your heart picked it up. That's why you're very slow to give yourself. You're very wary. W-A-R-Y. You're very suspicious son, of whose love is real, whose love is genuine. And you're wise. You're wise. You're also very sensitive to the realness of the prophetic message. And you want to be pure with it. You have a passion to be pure in what God speaks to you and your expectations, or excuse me, your suspicions. And I understand that. Stay pure in your love, son. Stay pure in that. I'd rather go I'd rather go to a small church when in 50 people where the pastor had a pure heart toward me than go to churches running 15, 20,000 where it was all political love. The day will come the crowds will not fascinate you and crowds will not intrigue you. The day will come to all you ministers when you won't reach your success by the size of the crowd. The day will come. That day will come. That day will come when you realize how shallow that is. How empty that is. How counterfeit it is. It won't be because you don't love reaching people. You'll still love reaching a lot of people, but you'll stop reading your success the way many people do. Read your success by God's opinion of you in your prayer room. 